Welcome. Do you know and practice some principles of spirit that will eventually save you? The diagram that we are showing is about the spirit world and the physical world. Clearly, there are clear cut ways to know the principles of spirit that will save you and this is by answering some basic questions very clearly. Look at these questions and think of how the answers are a proof that your soul and the destiny of your soul in this physical world and in the world to come is assured and guaranteed. These are the seven questions that we want to look at and deal with. Do you know yourself? It is only by rediscovering what is the soul that you can come to a point of knowing yourself. Number two, how are you connected to the creator? What have you become now? What happened to you? Do you need a redemption? From what are you to be redeemed? What is birth, rebirth, and a death? This is a holographic universe model that explains the phenomenon of the soul as it connects between the heavens and the earth. Our souls enslaved to a system of artificial intelligence surface today or a hologram today. The principles of spirit that will save you do not include the Holy Spirit, evil spirit, because you already have a Holy Spirit the car we reiterate that like all living things we are connected to our creator through our ancestral lines when we die we are supposed to join our glorious ancestors in the ancestral spirit world as we proceed to return to the source of everything our success is on condition that we have lived a lifetime or lifetimes worthy of those glorious ancestors and the divinities. Connecting to our roots, to our ancestors, is a continuous transformative living or life. Because the principles of spirit that will save you do not include the Holy Spirit, evil spirit, ancestral spirit possessing you, but working in partnership with you, with your ancestral spirit, because you already have a Holy Spirit, the car. Do you know yourself? You think you may? As long as you know that you are a kakati ba ab kai biti akusahu seke murenyu. And that you are a multifold soul. And at the moment, you are able to identify the dominance of the car, the ba, the ab, and the aku. The car is spirit. It is the Holy Spirit. It is your divine spirit. It is the divine spark inside your consciousness or consciousness or whatever term you want to use. Billions of black people go out to seek the Holy Spirit. What is the Holy Spirit in melanin dominant philosophy? It is the roho takatifu muyonso mweyamchene mzimu noera umoya ongwele emi mimo moya o hala le lang umuka wera that is kinyoranda. Mzimu Unoera, Holy Ancestor, that is already in you. Our ancestors depicted this extra possession or extra companionship by wearing a specific a halo or a head, Jiremba, this. Some of them wear the feather of Maat to prove their connection to that, which is symbolic of the car from above outstretched hands welcoming that spirit which was copied by Christians is a tongue of fire which is a halo which was inherited ancient commit by christians so we already have it the principles of spirit say we cannot seek another spirit outside of what we have and outside of our ancestral lineage the divine spark activated by unu omaati is the kingdom of heaven that is already asleep inside us that's how we are able to convert ourselves or activate ourselves to connect to the creator through the Hazim via the divinities, the gods and goddesses as well as our ancestors. The kingdom of heaven is within you and whosoever shall know himself shall find it. This is what our ancestors taught. And we 
have all the other tools within our physical body. We've got specific organs in our physical body that will assist us to connect to the creator. What have you become now? You, 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 you are more likely to become a lost soul if you can identify yourself connected to the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost, the Spirit of Truth, the Comforter, the Helper, the Spirit of God, the Spirit, my Spirit, His Spirit, Spirit of the Lord. If you think that you are a triunion organism with the spirit, soul, and body, you are lost. You have become a lost soul. If you follow Islam, you are lost. If you are a black Hebrew Israelite, you are lost. If you follow yoga, Taoism, Hinduism, anything else other than the pure and adulterated melanin dominant religion, spirituality and culture, you are a lost soul. doesn't matter how many miracles you have performed. This is what has happened to you, trapped in a perpetual rebirth cycle until you break out and reconnect using the principle and cultural principles of Mahati to effectively escape this trip, you need to activate them. That's why you cannot see and remember what was beyond and before your birth. You have never gone into that, you have never gone through that trans ancestral spirituality in which you can see yourself. You have been trapped by lust, greed, ignorance, envy, anger, false prestige, pride, and attachment to what is not you and what is not yours. So the lords of karma are embracing you and trapping you into a sore prison that you need to escape. Do you need redemption? Yes. The earth we live in is ruled by the god Shatta and his agents. This may have happened some 300,000 years ago when our solar system was conquered. This was the second fall. Our consciousness became a third dimensional self and uh, locked into matter in order to ascend to our divinity. We have to become one with Maati Ubuntu and we should never fear death and we should be able to use Ubuntu Maati to solve all our modern challenges. From what are you going to be redeemed? From soul thieves? From shatter? From zombies? From other humans? From animals and plants? From the food chain? That's where you need to be saved from. From ignorance? From being deceived? From an artificial life and fear of death? That's what you need to be redeemed from. We want to learn something from the cosmic recorder, Jigahuti, so-called thought about death, life, and rebirth. The first treatise of the Corpus Hermeticum, a book derived from the teachings of Jigahuti, reveals what happens at death and after death in order to return in a pristine purity to the divine. The soul must affect a divestment in reverse order of its birth and arrival on earth. It must remove the astral raiment it has clothed itself with. The soul first quits the material flesh and blood and bones that it dwelled for a lifetime. The stuff that we call nature or natural body today, furnished by nature through our ancestors and totems and father and mother. And in the last place, it quits this first material element which it encountered when it fell into matter as a divine spark, as a soul. And then death separates it and starts the process of separating it and consigns the body to dissolution in a process that frees all the memories that have been trapped and gained in the body. The kati is gone. And then it starts to release the four elements that are topical in us that is the fire, which is connected with the divine spark. The air, which we breathe in and cause a respiration. The water, that makes a lot of our parts in our body active and alive. And the earth, which is material. So through proper burial and burial rites, a great step in activating the principles of spirit that will save you. Not only the Holy Spirit, because you already have the car. We free the car and the bar and the ab and the kati and the aku to start the process 
of joining back so that you can be able to proceed to soar up through the armature of spheres and cast each of them out of your system as you continue to ascend before judgment so you have to escape first the moon cycle which we call the lunatic cycle in which you were trapped and made and manufactured because your mother had a menstrual period and you blocked it and stopped it for a period so you absorbed certain negative and positive energies from that cycle that's why a madman is sometimes called lunatic so you need to free yourself because that is the second most important station that you need to free yourself from otherwise you'll be trapped in an infinite cycle of birth and the rebirth that's why our ancestors emphasized that freedom and they used the totemic systems to free yourself and to free their own from the lunatic cycle then you have to escape the zodiacal sign as well as the ancestral zodiacal signs here you have to use the cosmic totems to do that which we know is encapsulated with the sahu to escape and to be free so you do not have to escape without knowing what we are sharing today and even more and the more and the more because it is spiritual principles that you should know that will save you even though from a very early times each individual was believed to have an invisible immortal soul or ghost which often assumed the form of a bird with a human head that either survived death or came into existence at the time of dissolution to this conception of the bar the car was eventually added the spirit that will eventually save you and they help to release the bar so baka means light or light up or shine or burn either as a ghost or a true divine spirit the choice is made by you by the way you live in this current life today whether you follow mat unu ubuntu or not in conclusion once you know these principles of spirit that will save you you will need to assimilate the teachings of the only source for your salvation which is your own ancestral lineage of glorious ancestors not every ancestor but glorious ancestors and righteous divinities and gahuti uh, wrote and said and they are upon stripped of the vestment generated by the armature of spheres the logos enters the ogdotic essence the eighth heaven of pure ether pure light ba ka shine having not now to save its own power copa semeticus 126 but it mounts yet higher to the very powers of divine who resides above the ogdotic essence as the near the chasm it becomes in turn a power and enters into shema nebeja that is not possible for many of us today but it is a potential that we all have for such is the blessed consummation of those possessed of nonsis or knowing special type of knowing to become a netter many of us may be destined to become a glorious ancestor but we must work so hard to become a netter so that we can reach the chasm the ascension to the powers divine is not however automatic the spheres are of equal competence to block you the more they block you the more the success they have so the challenge is there unfortunately a lot of people love knowledge but don't put it into practice you can only put it into practice when you work with others as a family and they encourage each other and they build your aku you build your aku by practical activities not just by theory or by reading books or by watching movies or by watching uh, other preachers teachers but by doing what the principles that you, of spirit that will save you tell you to do maati ubuntu this is what we share 
once you master these principles of spirit that will save you, your aku, your bar, your car will rise up even during this life, right up beyond the stars, the highest stars. That's why we say in Marfad ways, may the gods appear. If the gods have not appeared to you in manners and ways that are verifiable to you in your soul, not in your brain, not in your heart, but in your being, you are just being entertained by teachers of our ancestral knowledge. So may the gods appear. Our revered ancestors' spirits ablaze. May you be raised beyond the highest star in this life as we pay homage and honor to all our holy ancestors and blameless divinities for this life because I want to make it and I pray that you make it. The concept of the bar, the heavenly aspect of you is central to all African spiritual systems. If they are not teaching you that, they are teaching you fallacies. May you thrive. May you win. For more, email us on join at marifado.com. This is Hamane Jatopi, priest Rabbi LM to Muslim Jakanja, Kunikenim Skabanu, saying these are the principles of spirit or car that will give you your salvation and redemption. Amen.